Hello, hello. Andres. Okay, Andres, no problem. I understand. You're listening. Yes. Okay, welcome, Oscar. Welcome, Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Thanks. Good evening, Jorge. It's a pleasure, right? Patricia okay. is a listener today again. I understand, no problem. And Mario, Mr. Gonzalez, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Okay, now let me copy here some information. Patricia is a listener today again, right? Okay, I understand, Patricia, you're working. That's nice, right? Okay, let's start uh, with the presentation. Right now, immediately. Let's begin, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to class number 13. Class number 13, right? Uh, today is June, June 14th, right? It's Wednesday, Wednesday. We are in the belly button of the week in ombligo, right? Belly bottom <laughs> of the week. And the topic for tonight is steps to write a formal email. Mm, sending emails. Emails are really important, right? Especially in your work because you you work with, with, with email, right? So we're going to learn today how to to work and to send a formal email, right? Okay, now this is the objective for tonight. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, can you participate in the class, Elizabeth? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Yes, Good evening. teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. So would you like to read the objective for tonight, Elizabeth, please? Okay. Unit three. Communication at the workplace. I will be uh, able to write short and professional emails to co-workers. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the, the topic, emails. How to work with email, right? And to be a professional. Huh? Yeah. It's not simple, right? It's not just to say, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Vos qué haces? No, no, come on. It's, <laughs> you have to to be formal when you speak, especially if it's related uh, with, with your company, right? Or if you work in a bank or in a big company, eh? so you must be formal and professional when you write emails. Okay? Now, Oscar, please, do you send emails every day, Oscar? Oscar Daniel? Do you send emails every day? Yes. Yes. I, okay. I, I, send, I send emails every day. Okay. How many? How many in average? Like five, ten? How many, Oscar? How many emails? Uh, five. Oh, okay. Five. Like five, five emails. Okay. Good. That's it. Okay, nice. Thank you very much, Oscar. Now, Mario. Hello, Mario. Welcome. Mario, can you mention three tips or three suggestions in your opinion, right? Uh, how to write effective emails. Well, I'll, if, if Mario, if you don't have three tips, at least one, right? No, lo puedo decir en español. Yeah, and no. we, we, we can translate. Yeah, we can translate into English. Yes. Para correr de negocios, siempre hay que ir al grano con lo que se quiere. Okay, so, es go, Mario, go to the point. Be direct. When you are talking about business, be direct, right? Okay, thank you. Another, Mario? That's all? Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Now, uh, enough. Teacher? Yeah? Perdón, perdón. 
Yes. Eh, uh, a good greeting. Ajá, uh -huh, good. For example, in, in your emails, what 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 is the greeting you use? ¿Qué saludo utiliza? Right? What what is the greeting you use? Um, eh, eh, por lo general, eh, yo mando los correos por la mañana. Entonces, Good morning. Uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, eh, good morning. Eh, eh, no sé cómo sería. Tengan un excelente día o en Have sus a labores. Nice day. Have a nice uh, day, right? Have a nice day. Uh, have a nice day. Y después ya comienzo como en el, el desenlace, uh -huh. siendo bien este, preciso. Okay. Y ya el, 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 like Mario said, el right? Final, you, you... Los, los saludos cordiales que no pueden faltar. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> greetings. Greetings are very important. So two, two tips. Number one, go direct to the point, right? Be direct. Yes. Especially if you're talking about business. Number two, use greetings, right? And uh, in your case, Elizabeth, do you use formal or informal greetings? Formal. Formal greetings, correct, right? Saying good morning, yeah, it's normal and it's good, right? Have a nice yeah. day, okay? Enjoy your, your Saturday or enjoy your Monday or enjoy your, your Wednesday, right? Or oh, have a nice Wednesday. Have a nice uh, Friday, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to the point, right? Good. Anybody else? Do you have any extra suggestion on how to write effective emails? Teacher, pienso que um, uno de los tips para que un correo sea efectivo es un buen asunto. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, it's not that you're going to write an email because you want. Ah, le voy a mandar un email porque quiero. No, no, right? Mm -mm. You have to get a good topic. Un buen tema, right? Or, or, or we can say this, Jennifer, if you want. Vamos a ver si concuerdo con su idea. Vamos a ver. When the information is important, then you send the email, right? Yeah? Así sería, Jennifer. Cuando el, el tema es importante, entonces hay que escribirlo. ¿Yes? Sí, teacher. ¿Yes? Ok, good. So, three, point, three tips. A good greeting, go to the point, and the information must be important. You're not going to write an email. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, today is raining here. No, right? Good morning. Today I have coffee and semita in my, in my office. No, right? No, you're going to you're going to write about important things, uh, really important thing. Because hey, I received an email. Look, uh, for example, uh, I received an email from Atlantida or from Indy Motors, right? And then when I see the the email, uh, tonight we have a party. Esta noche va a haber una fiesta. Quieres ir? Oh, come on. <laughs> no, right? No, come on. The, the topic must be important, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Ah, I have a message here. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Enoch says you have to be uh, concrete, objective, and direct. Short also, right? Mm -hmm. And make description review. Says it's not that you are going to read a book, right? You're going to... to copy an English class in the email. No, you're going to 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 be short. Short, right? Do not be extensive. Uh, don't say, don't go to details. No, no, no. So you have to be short. Thank you enough for, for your commentary also. Yeah? Okay, now. Here we have some, some vocabulary, right? The subject. The subject is the topic of, a, of the conversation. For example, what is the subject for today's class? The subject for today's class is how to write effective emails. How to write professional emails. That is the subject of this class. Uh, let's say the class of yesterday was about the simple past, the present continuous. 
etc., etc., right? So the topic is the subject, okay? Salutation. A salutation is saying hello, right? Like, uh, like Elisa said, right? That she said, good morning, have a good day. That's a salutation, right? Brief. If you're brief, you are short, right? It's not, you're not extensive. Okay, class, I will read Genesis in the Bible. In the beginning, God created the world and then, <laughs> no, come on, no. You have to be brief, short, right? Short. Abbreviation. Abbreviation is a short form, a short form, right? Of a word. Sorry, there is a mistake. I tengo un pequeño error aquí. Give me a second. Let's make the correction. A short form. Okay, good. Let's continue. So it's a short form of a word or a phrase, right? Like you say, for example, uh, important. Or Saturday, for example, right? Saturday. Right? Uh, uh, for example, you say um, company, right? The company. For example, right? So this is an abbreviation. Just an example. Okay. Good. Share. Share is a have a portion of something with another. Um, for example, let's say I am eating pizza, and then I give a, a piece of pizza to you, right? I'm sharing. Okay, and in this case, when we refer to, to, to emails, you share, right? Usted comparte los emails, so you, you share. And tips, tips are advice and suggestions, right? Advice and suggestions. That's it. Okay, class. Now, let's begin with the reading. But before to go to the reading, we are going to practice this, this tip, right? Which of these tips do you consider uh, are correct to to send a formal formal emails? Okay, let's read, please. Let's read. Do not use all capitals, right? No escribir todas las palabras en mayúsculas o the opposite, todas las palabras en minúsculas, right? Avoid using the subject important. Ustedes son de los que evitan ponerle a todos los emails importante, importante, importante. Todos los emails son importantes, you know? So you say, okay? Use a formal salutation, right? Be brief, ser breve. Express clearly why you are writing. Right? Like, like, like what Mari was saying, right? Go direct, be direct. Do not use abbreviations. Do you know, do not use smileys or, or, or emojis, right? Or stickers today. <laughs> People use a lot of stickers. So, Please, I need you to think and tell me which of these tips are appropriate for formal emails. Let me see what time is it. Okay, I will take the attendance, please. And then you think which of these uh, are appropriate, are good suggestions to write formal email, right? Okay. Okay, good. So, uh, Enoch. 
Cristina? Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Everything is okay with your princess? Gracias a Dios, está mejor. Oh, thank God. Mejor thank God. Gracias a Dios. Ay, ah, es que cuando ellos se enferman, ah, yo, yo me descontrolo totalmente. ¿no? Ok. Ay, yo igual. Yes, I understand. Ok, eh, Carolina. Present teacher. Ok, welcome, Carolina. Eh, Thank you. Esaú. Mr. Galdames Calderón. Jill. Giovanni. Present teacher. Welcome. Can you participate tonight, Giovanni? Deme unos 20 minutos. Okay, good. No problem. Tell me when you're ready, right? Me, me dice cuando esté listo. Okay. And Jennifer, Beatriz, Beatriz. Beatriz. Today we don't have Beatriz. Oh. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge. Present teacher. Eduardo Flores. Present teacher. Welcome, Eduardo. Okay, Karina. Miss Melendez Arriola, are you there? Manuel. Okay, let me see. I have a message here. Present. Jill. Ah, Jill. Hello, Jill. Thank you, Gil. Jill. Okay, then I have uh, Manuel. Mario. Mario, Mr. González Burgos. Ahí son Mario, por ahí vía Mario. Vamos a ver. Ah, here, Mario González, ok. Para que quede constancia para Insafor, aquí estoy anotando la asistencia a Mario. Hola, teacher. Uh, aquí estoy. Ok, Empezando. good. Ok. Very good, thank you, Mario. Eh, Andrés, ¿todavía va en la moto, Andrés? Hello, teacher. Fíjese que Fíjese. estoy cenando. No, no, tranquilo, coma tranquilito. Estoy cenando, pero igual no he llegado a mi casa porque ya no aguantaba el hambre y me quedé no, por aquí comiendo. Tranquilo, él nos trae una hamburguesa por ahí, por favor. Te voy a mostrar para que vea que no es mentira. No, no le creo. Yo... Vamos a ver. Quiero ver el, el de la hamburguesa, ¿eh? ¿Va usted, va? Sí, de hecho okay. sí. Nada, entonces... Ok, good. Thank you, Andrés. No, teacher, good evening. Cuando llegue a casa me avisa, tranquilo. Ok. Good. Eh, Oscar. Oscar Daniel. Welcome. Welcome, Oscar. Patricia, ya le noté la asistencia, Patricia. Oyente. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Vilma. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Vilma. La, la extrañamos. Qué bueno Thank que está con nosotros. Can you participate? ¿Puede participar esta noche, Vilma? Vilma, ¿puede participar? Voy a tratarlo de... Ok, very good. <laughs> ok, welcome, welcome to the class. And I have a message. Eh, Patricia, yes, present, right? Ya le anotamos la, la asistencia, Patricia. Don't worry. Ok, good. Now let's go to the topic, right? Now, which of these tips can you follow to have a formal? Volunteers, please. I have another message. Uh, Alejandro. Very good, Alejandro. No, no, no lo llamé Alejandro. Sorry, Alejandro. Uh, okay. Alejandro. Okay, here. Ahí está. Asistencia ya, Alejandro. Okay. Present. Sir, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, which of these tips are good when you write 
a formal a formal uh, you know a formal email volunteers volunteers use a formal salute i don't know how do you say salutation 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 Okay, nice. Carolina, for a moment, uh, uh, I thought you would say, saludemos la <laughs> padre. Okay. Thank you, Carolina. Use a formal Thank salutation. You. Yes, it's good. Nice. Another one? Uh, yo, teacher. Yes, please, Mario. Ex uh, express clearly why you are writing. Okay, good suggestion, good tip. Another one? Come on, class, participation. Maybe avoid using the subject important. Okay, good, right? Avoid is evitar, right? Thank you, Jill. Yes, because some people, to Por all favor. the, all the, all, all the emails, they copy important, important. No, come on. Good. Another one? Thank you, Carolina. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Jill. But now I need more participants, more participants, please. Do not use abbreviation. Do not use abbreviation. My goodness, it's a good, right? Mm -hmm. Be brief. Yes, Jorge? Be brief. Be brief. Uh -huh. uh, okay, when Jorge say be brief, I can say breve, right? Be brief. It's because Jorge uses that, right? When Mario says express clearly what you are writing, it's because Mario uses that, right? Okay? And when Jill says avoid using the subject important, it means that Jill doesn't use important to all the email, right? That's what I understand. Okay, class, that's it. Now, let's go to the next part. Do not use oh. smiles. Do you not use, give me a second, give me a second. Do not use smileys. No emojis, right? No emojis. Okay, no memes. <laughs> no memes. Thank you. Now let's go to the conversation. Look. Amanda says, uh, do you often send emails? And Luis says, mm, yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not profession. Professional. Appropriate. Abbreviations. Business, business. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Could you? Could you? Could you share? Could you share? Could you share more tips? 
Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Okay, good, right? Now we're going to practice this conversation, but I will help you with some ideas, right? Conversation number one is going to be uh, Enoch, are you ready, Enoch? Are you home? Okay, no. So, Cristina, Cristina and Vilma, can you participate, Vilma? Okay. So, so Vilma. Okay, no problem. No, relax, relax. Relax, okay. Yes. So, yes, Vilma, okay. Vilma, you're going to you, you're going to be Luis. And Cristina, you're going okay. to be you're going to be uh, Amanda. But we are going to make something special tonight. Remember these tips? Remember these tips? Do not use cap all capitals, avoid using import, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So every conversation we're going to introduce one of these ideas, right? And let's start with the with the first, right? And I will copy here for you. Okay, but I will explain to, to Vilma and Christy. Okay. In this case, Christy, instead of say, is it appropriate to use abbreviation? You're going to say, is it appropriate to use all capitals? That means escribir solo mayúscula, right? Is it appropriate to use all capitals? in business emails okay so in other words Christy you are not going to use use abbreviation no 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 uh, Christy you're going to say to use all capital in business email right and then uh, Vilma is going to say Vilma is going to say, uh, no, it's not professional, right? And you continue with the conversation, right? Understand, Christy? <laughs> okay, good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Vilma and Christy. Action. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use I capitals in business email. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to great effect, effective emails? Yeah, sure. Congratulations, Bill Man Christy. Very nice. Okay, nice. Now we're going to make another conversation. This time it's going to be Carolina, Carolina and Esmeralda, right? Carolina, you're going to be Amanda. Esmeralda, you're going to be Luis, right? I will erase this idea. And I will copy the substitution, right? Is it appropriate to use the subject important? To use the subject important in business emails. 
Okay. So in this case, Amanda, right? That is uh, Carolina, right? You're not going to say use abbreviation. You're going to say use the subject important, right? Esto es cuando muchas personas le ponen a todos sus emails, le ponen importante, right? Understand? Okay. Ready? Carolina en Esmeralda. Action. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use the subject important is me in business mail. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Carolina Esmeralda, you did excelentoso, right? Thank you. Now, Thank you. Yeah. good. Now, uh, we have Esaú. Esaú versus, oh, versus, no. Esaú en, en Oscar. Esaú en Oscar, right? Esaú, you're going to be Amanda. En Oscar, you're going to be Luis. But let me write the other, the other uh, information here. Give me a second, please. Okay. To use uh, to use a formal salutation in business emails. Right, Esau, you're going to say this. Instead of say abbreviation, you're going to say formal salutation in business. Okay, so and uh, Oscar, Oscar, you're going to say yes. Instead of say no, Oscar, you're going to say yes. Is professional, right? It is professional. So in other words, Oscar, I will copy here, right? No, wait a minute. I will. I will use color red, right? Okay. Instead of say no, Oscar, you're going to say yes. Yes, yes, right? Yes. It is professional, right? Understand? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo, tonight we introduce Esaú and Oscar. Action. Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, Esaú. Ah, oh, okay. Esaú is not in class. So, let me see. Who's going to help me? Hi, teacher. Esaú, Esaú. Yes? Do you understand? Esaú, do you understand what are we going to do? Sorry, we're llegando, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No problem, no problem. Vamos a ver qué más nos ayuda. Pero preste atención para que después lo, lo voy a hacer participar. So, don't worry. Eh... Sí, gusta yo, teacher. Uh, Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, thank you. But Oscar, are you ready, Oscar? Oscar, yo sería Amanda. You're going to be Amanda, Elizabeth, yes. Okay. Uh, but let me see. Oscar, are you ready? Mr. Castillo Ramos, are you ready? Okay. Oscar is not ready. So, uh, Mario. Mario, are you ready? Uh, ¿Quién voy a ser, teacher? You're going to be Luis. But, Mario. I want you to pay attention in this. Instead of saying no, you're going to say yes. Because formal oh, okay. salutations are appropriating. Right? Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cucuyo. <laughs> and we have Elizabeth and Mario. Action. 
Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a formal solution in business emails? Um, yes, it, it is professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You have a good conversation. I like it, Elisa and Mario. Nice. I like it. Okay. Nice. Now, let's see uh, Jennifer Guadalupe and Jorge. Jennifer and Jorge, right? But let me copy here, right? Let me copy the information. Ready, teacher. ¿Cuál okay. sería yo? You, you're going to be Amanda. And Jorge okay. is going to be Jorge is going to be uh, Luis. But Luis. Give, okay. give me a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, you... Give me a no, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, to be brief. Ser corto, ser breve, right? In business emails. Okay. And Jorge. Yes, he is professional. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, Jorge. Okay. The formal presentation. Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, directly mm -hmm. from Tejuiste Abajo in La Paz, <laughs> we have Jorge and Jennifer. Action. To be friend in friend in business, oh. Emma. Okay, slowly, no, Jennifer. No. Wait, wait, wait. Jennifer, do you often? Jennifer? Do you do... often? Send emails? Send emails? Send emails? Jorge? Yes, I do. It's a profession, a to to, to be, use... not to be. Mm -hmm. Este debajo me va a usar, mire, ya ni para to be. To be. Oh, teacher, mm, no lo he entendido. Vaya, en lugar de usar to use abbreviation, mm -hmm. esto no lo va a decir, sino que va a decir lo que está aquí abajo, mire. Yes. Sería completo. Yes. Is it appropriate? To be brief in business emails. Yes, eso es lo okay. que me va a decir. Yes. Uh, perdón, class. Sorry. El anterior no se graba. Vamos a grabar una nueva, por favor. Jorge, se repite la escena. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, and, and Jennifer says, Do you often send email? Right? Do you often send email? Okay, ready? Jennifer, again. One, two, three, action. Do you often in smell is mal? Emails? 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 Yes, I do. Is it appropriate um, to be friend? Is in business, business email? In business emails? Emails? Yeah, it is professional. Mm. No, it is not professional. No, 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 no. I see, man. You're a man, I remember. See. I see. Okay. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, right? So let's continue practicing and we're going to improve. Así vamos a mejorar, okay? Thank you very much. Now, the last couple. Vamos a ver quién me falta. Eh, Eduardo. And Karina. Karina, are you ready? Miss Meléndez Arriola, are you ready? Bueno, entonces Alejandro me va a ayudar, ¿ok? Alejandro, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, ok, good. Alejandro, you're going to be Luis, right? 
And Eduardo, okay. you're going to be Amanda. Eduardo, but give me a okay. second. I will erase this. I will erase this information. And I will copy new information here, right? Is ex to express clearly. To express clearly. Why are you, are you where you are, sorry. In business email. Right? Okay, Eduardo, do you understand, Eduardo? Yes. Okay, good. I understand. Okay. Uh, and Alejandro, you're not going to say no, you're going to say yes. Okay. Yes, okay, good. Ready? One, two, three, action. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to express clearly why you are waiting in business emails? Yeah. It, it is professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. My goodness. And Excellent conversation. Thank you very much, Alejandro and Eduardo. You are also professional giving this conversation, right? Thank you. Okay, and who is missing? Who is missing? ¿Qué me falta que no, no le he dado participación? Teacher, yo no he participado. Okay, Beatriz, welcome. Hello. Thank you. I'm <laughs> are sorry. You, are, are, you, are you okay? Everything is okay? Yes, I was coming to my house. Okay, good. Now, uh, Beatriz, I will explain what are we doing here, right? We are practicing this conversation, but we are substituting some information, right? Okay, uh, Eduardo, yes. Eduardo, can you help me with Beatriz? Again. But this time you're going to be Luis, Eduardo. Mr. Flores, Eduardo, ah, no, se levantó Eduardo, pero ahí vi la, veo la cámara que está solito, bueno, entonces, ¿quién me ayuda? Esmeralda, help me, Esmeralda. Yes? Ok, teacher. Good, thank you. Now, let me erase this, right? Let me explain, eh, Beatriz. Good. Eh, the topic is to use smileys. Smileys is uh, uh, carita, right? <laughs> Caritas, carita felices. Okay, smileys. Now, okay. Uh, Beatriz, instead of saying it is appropriate to use abbreviation, is to use smileys. Smileys. Okay, okay. Understand? Okay, now. Ready? One, two, three, action. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use smileys in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okie dokie. Look at the teacher. Oh, oh, nice. Very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. Good. So this is, I have a commentary here. Uh, oh, yes, that is no problem. I, I understand. But yes, you are ready. You're ready to participate. Right? Ah, look at Mario. Yes. Yes, me too. I also share the the opinion of, of, of Mario, right? Mm -hmm. Do you notice how to do this? Ya les conté cómo hacer esto, ¿verdad? Yes. Solo ponen aquí. O si quieren participar, solo ponen la manita aquí. Es como la como algunos teléfonos que reconocen, ¿no? Ahí está, ¿eh? Yes. 
¿Cómo hacer eso? Ah, bueno. Se van a los tres puntitos que están a la derecha. Le dan clic. Y hay una opción donde dice reconocer gestos de manos. Dice. Recon Entonces ustedes pueden activarlo o pueden desactivarlo. Ok, si está activado, si está activado, entonces le van a le va a aparecer así, miren. Yo le hago el, el símbolo de cling y aparece ahí, ¿eh? ¿Yes? También cuando me pongo con los brazos cruzados, no sé por qué me aparece la mano ahí. Este es un símbolo de no, ya no aparece. Bueno, antes me ponía las manos cruzadas y aparecía un símbolo ahí. Bueno, pero ahí la manita, cuando quieran participar, ¿verdad? Solo la cámara le reconoce, ¿sí? Así es que si quieren activar. También les tengo filtro. ¿Va a querer filtros? <risa> ¿Ok? Yeah. Ya. <risa> ok, para los filtros... Solo se van a la cámara y en la cámara hay una flechita chiquita ahí adelante de la cámara. Le dan clic y ahí dice seleccionar filtro de video. Seleccionar filtro de video y ahí pueden ponerle lo que ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Pueden poner esto, ¿verdad? Oh. <risas> yeah. Ahí pueden darle cualquier filtro. etcétera, etcétera right? ahí pueden ponerse como quieran <ríe> ok o oh, 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 ok <ríe> good y si quieren desactivarlo, le dan a la palabra none, non, que quiere decir non, right? Ok, y también pueden poner ese dibujito, miren. Ahí. Hello, hello. Number one. Teacher is number one. <laughs> ok. O oh, this, right? O oh, de television. Hello. Etcétera, etcétera. Ok, let's continue with the class. Excuse me. Perdón por ponerme a jugar aquí con ustedes. <laughs> any question? Do you have any question? No. Ok, let's continue, right? Ok. Uh, tips to write formal emails. Now let's go to the reading, right? This information is on page 34, right? Los que quieran leer esta información directamente de sus manuales está en la página 34. Okay? But I will read for you here, right? Number one, tips to write formal emails. I will read and then I will ask One student to help me with the reading. Solo déjenme chequear la asistencia otra vez. Todavía falta, pero quiero chequearla para irle dando participación. Ok. Enoch, are you home? Here, think... teacher. Ok, good, thank you. Eh, Cristina. Present, teacher. Good. Carolina. Miss Angulo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Esaú. Present. Present. No puedo Present. Con mi mamá. Yes, okay. Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. Jill. Present teacher. Giovanni. Giovanni. Ok, todavía no está listo Giovanni, pero ahí está presente. Ok, Beatriz. Present teacher. Jennifer. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Eduardo. 
Alejandro. Here. Okay, good, Eduardo. Eh, Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandro. And Manuel. Bueno, está Manuel, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Andrés. Todavía está comiendo su hamburguesita, Andrés. Present teacher. Tranquilo, cuando llegue a casa me avisa, ¿ok? Eh, Oscar. Y así como rebajamos. <risa> <risa> ok, thank you, Oscar. <risa> oh, lo mató, Eduardo, lo mató al pobre Andrés. <risa> Mejor que compre una bicicleta, ¿verdad? Ahí, en lugar de la moto, Eduardo. <risa> y así que coma yeah. todas las hamburguesas. Todas las hamburguesas. Que vayan bien. Yes. Yes, <risa> que vaya que... Que vaya comiendo en bicicleta. Ajá, ah, yeah. Ok, continue, right? Eh, Patricia. Está de oyente, ¿verdad, Patricia? Esmeralda. Present teacher. Good, thank you, Vilma. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Good, entonces solo tenemos de oyente a Andrés, a Patricia y a Giovanni. Y Manuel, que no está ahora, ¿verdad? Entonces todos los demás van a participar. ¿Ready? Ok, now. I will start reading and I will say eh, Enoch, eh, Cristina, Carolina, etc. ¿Ok? Number one. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. El que recibe, ¿no? Ok. And not just document or important. Okay, Enoch, read, please. Number one. Repeat. I repeat. Please. Okay. Fill in the subject okay. line. With... Sorry. Fill in. Sí. Fill in is completar. Completar or rellenar. Fill in. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, okay. Fill in, fill in. Fill in the subject line with... Uh, with 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 with, como, with 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 a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important questions about vocabulary no okay number two include a polite salutation example example dear mr Dear Miss, good morning, etc., 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 right? Okay. Teacher? Yeah, tell me. Uh, what, what is meaning e e uh, Example. Example. Uh, example. Example, right? Good. Now, please... Cristina, read number two, please, Cristina. Include polite salut salutation in example. 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 Dear Mr. Christy, dear Mr. Dear Mr. Dear Miss. Miss. Good morning. Uh, it is. Etc. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like it. Okay, let me see. I'm looking for EG. Um, for example, is that right? Uh, example Gratia. This is EG. Ya le averigüé, este, Alex, es una palabra 
perdón, Enoch, es una palabra griega, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Es Ahorita se como... la escribo. Ahorita se la escribo, permítame, que está algo, está algo raro. Ok, esta com complicate. Ajá, está un poco complicada, permítame. Eh, se dice... Eh, exempli gratia. <ríe> exempli, exempli gratia. ¿Qué quiere decir? En un buen inglés, right? For example. Ok, pero Ok, teacher. honestamente es la primera vez que veo esta palabra en ok. Exempli, okay. exempli gratia. Es, es latín. Exempli gratia. ¿Qué quiere decir? Okay. For example, right? O for example. en español, por ejemplo, right? Good, en etcétera, etcétera, eh, también tenía una, una, un significado, ya me acordé, pero yo lo busqué una vez en español, en lo, ya, ya lo vamos a buscar también, pero tiene su significado también, etcétera. Okay, teacher. Okay. O como dice All Cristina, right, et, etc, ¿verdad, Cristina? Es más fácil sí, sí. decirlo así. No es etc. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let us continue, right? Number three. Write your uh write your main point in the opening. Okay, give me a second. Vamos a borrar esto, permítame. Okay. Write your main point in the opening sentence. De entrada explíquese qué va a decir va no no que no le dé vuelta a la cosa o sea de un solo dígale qué es lo que quiere <laughs> okay write your main point in the opening sentence please Carolina read write your main point in the opening sentence number four right don't use all capital or all lower case letters no solo use mayúsculas ni solo minúsculas, right? So please, Elizabeth, no, no, Esaú, please, read it, Esaú, number four. Hay que leerla, teacher. Please, number four, number four. Do not use all capital or all lower Case letters. Uh -huh. Lower case is minuscula, right? Lower case. Thank you. Avoid a voice or avoid a abbreviation. <laughs> avoid abbreviations. Avoid abbreviations. For example, PLZ. That means please. Right? In, in El Salvador, we say this, right? Vamos a ver quiénes se identifican con este. Si alguna vez lo han puesto en algún email. ¿Alguien lo ha puesto en algún email? <ríe> Por Never. Never. No lo sé. No lo sé, Rick. <ríe> Carolina. You? No, Carolina. Never. <laughs> okay. Porfis, right? Porfis. Oh. Como pie de página lo tienen por uh, ahí. Uh, <laughs> no, go on. Okay. O oh, PLC, right? Please. Instead of say please, you say PLC, right? Okay. Avoid abbreviation. Example PLC, please. And uh, who's going to read? Excuse me. And let me see. We have number five, right? Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, please read. Read, please, Elizabeth. Number five, Elizabeth. Number five. Read, please. Hi, teacher. Sorry. No problem. Only read number five, please. Uh, avoid okay okay avoid abbreviation 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 example 
Uh, P L C. C. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Number six. Okay. Thank you. Be polite. Hay que ser amable, right? Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Okay, Jill, read, please. Okay, uh, number five. Uh, six. Six. Number six. Okay. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Thank you for you and to thank you to Niño, right? Oh, what is the name of the dog? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Niño. Okay. Thank you to Niño and thank you to, to Jill, right, for the participation. Number seven. Okay. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Right? Uh, attachment normally is a file, right? It's an archivo que va unido a, a su mensaje, right? Okay. Number seven, right? Who's going to read for me? Uh, Beatriz, please. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Number eight. Use a closing. Thank, thank you, Beatriz. Using a closing phrase like best regards or regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Right? So this is when you when you finish your 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 email, you can you can use this, right? Regards or best regards. Or, or looking forward to your comments, esperando sus comentarios, right? Looking forward to your comments, etc. etc. Right? Now, who's going to read? Uh, Jennifer, read, please. Number eight. Use closing for right best regal, regal looking. Okay, best for... regards. Say, Jennifer, best regards. Best regards to your, to your comments. Let's say. Okay. Etc. <laughs> o etc. If you want to say, <laughs> etc. Jennifer. Etc. Etc. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, number nine. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Sample your name, business address, and phone number, right? Jorge, please. That's you, Jorge. Read. Yeah. Add a signature, block wide, appropriate contact information, your name, business address, um, and phone number. Business, say Jorge, business. Business under. Business address. Business address. Okay, that's it, right? Thank you. And to finish, uh, director, yes, yes, of course, yes. Thank edit, you. no, thank you, Jorge. Edit and proofread, proofread before you send the message. Edit and proofread before you send the message, right? So, who's going to help me after Jorge? Uh, Eduardo, please read. Yeah. Number 10, Eduardo. Okay. Edit and profile before Proof? you send no, the wait, message. Wait, 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 wait. Proof, Proof, Proof read. Ah, uh, edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay, thank you. What is edit and Proof proofread, read. right? Proofread, huh? Uh, proofread is Edit, that editar. You... Ajá, sí. editar y uh, se llama una prueba o un cheque o un borrador de lectura, right? Okay, proofread. So, and then you check the grammar, the punctuation, the syntax, you know, la lógica de la, la oración, right? Etcétera, etcétera. Aquí le puse una L de más. ¿no? Híjole, aquí en, en lugar de poner eh, 
negocio puse negocia, <laughs> etcétera, etcétera, right? Edit and proofread. Check the mistake, right? The puntuation, se ha puesto una coma, un punto, o, o si ha escrito una mala palabra, okay? o se ha puesto, en lugar de poner she, she is, puso she are, <ríe> she are, etc. Teacher, yo buscando, yo buscando el error que mencionó y no lo encontraba, y me di cuenta que era un ejemplo. Oh, it's just an example, yes. <ríe> ok, any question? Any word that you don't understand? No? Okay, very good. So I'm looking for... Uh-huh, yes? ¿Qué significa attachment? Attachment es una... ATT. Ah, ATT. Como la... Un attachment es poner un, un, un archivo atado a su mensaje. ¿Sí? O usted manda un mensaje y dice a... Uh, adjunto. Un documento adjunto, como el adjunto. A documento adjunto. Thank you very much. Yes. Exactly. Documento adjunto. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Cómo se ve que yeah. ustedes to, todos los días mandan email, verdad? Thank you. Thank you. Documento yes. attachment. Yes. Regard. Best regards, es como eh, los, los mejores saludos, con muchos saludos, los mejores deseos, best regards, ¿Mm? y looking forward to your comments, es eh, esperando por, por sus comentarios, es, esto espera que usted le, le, le conteste, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted quiere que alguien le conteste, ponga, looking forward to your comments. Esperando sus comentarios, se despide usted. Ok. Daisy Carolina Angulo de Sánchez. De la O. Um, <laughs> ok, de la O. Prove. Prove read. Prove read. Sorry, but I, I don't pay attention. No, don't worry. Come on. You can make all the questions. But... Me fascinan las preguntas. Ustedes pregunten lo que quieran. Yes. Proof es probar. Proof. Usted va, por ejemplo, y prueba un pastel. Uh, proof. Probarlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí lo que va a probar es la lectura. Si tiene lógica. Si la gramática está buena. Si, si le ha puesto una buena puntuación. Si se ha equivocado en una letra. Si le puso mayúscula donde no era. O minúscula donde no era. Ok, sí. Si, ya no te sé. lo había explicado, ¿verdad? Ajá, <risa> yes. Eh, y también fíjense que a veces cuando uno escribe en WhatsApp, a veces hasta una, malas palabras se van, pero así bien, <ríe> bien feo. A mí, a mí me ha pasado una vez, que yo muerto de la pena, ¿verdad? Pero sí, a veces sucede cuando uno está escribiendo, chuc, 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 de repente le da una palabra que no es. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? ¿Understand what is proofread? Sí, yes, I understand. Ok, very good. ¿Any Thank other you. question? No, anytime, anytime. ¿No questions? Ok, eh, a, ahorita encontré el significado de etcétera, déjeme ver. Dice, is the unfortunate use of various abuses, including mispuntuation. Ok, eh, etcétera. Ok, así, aquí es la palabra, mire, no, veo que no le gusta el latín, así que le vamos a ayudar aquí, permítame. Ergo oh, Ergozum. Oh, excuse me, what? <ríe> ok, la palabra es, es, la palabra es, et, etcétera. Ok, y la gente lo, lo abrevia como et, etcétera, ¿verdad? La palabra et, así et, y la c de etcétera, ¿qué quiere decir? Eh, y así por el estilo. Okay, así por el estilo. Vamos a ver, aquí dice, vamos a ver. The abbreviation, etc., is, is used when you begin a list that is not complete. Okay, indicating that there are more other items, right? 
Eh, la palabra etcétera es cuando usted está haciendo un listado, de, lo mismo en español, ¿verdad? Usted está haciendo un listado de algo y por no decir todos los ítems, por ejemplo, eh, ustedes deben de comer fruta, eh, como manzana, pera, sandía, etcétera. Usted no va a decir todas las frutas del mundo, ¿verdad? Hasta el mamey, <ríe> la cincuya y todas las la, la frutas que hay, ¿verdad? No las va a decir todas, solo va a decir unas dos o tres frutas y luego va a poner etcétera, ¿ok? Es cuando usted lee un listado de algo y no lo lee completamente. Eso es el uso de etcétera. ¿Qué quiere okay. decir? Ah, ok, así por el estilo. Ajá. Y etcétera es un lenguaje informal, entonces, o se podría ocupar en un lenguaje formal para pues yo lo he visto en, inglés. En, en libros, en inglés, en español, en todos lados. Yo creo que es formal. Se podría ocupar en algo formal. Yo sí. creo que sí. Mire, etcétera. Ajá. Esa es la propia palabra. Pero nosotros ponemos etc, ¿verdad? <risa> Sí, no me preocupe, Cristi, que sí digo yo también, etc, etc, right, etcétera, etcétera, en inglés es etcétera, y en español igual va, etcétera, es un latín, ok, good, hoy sí ya nos dimos gustos, hasta Describiendo hasta las latín palabras. Vamos en, a aprender. Hasta el latín. Yes. Hasta latín. <ríe> Inglés y latín con todo. También salvadoreño. Uh, Le voy a decir algunas cosas que pueden decir en salvadoreño. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿dónde está el, el lapicero? Así hacemos los salvadoreños. Mire. Usamos la boca para señalar. ¿va? ¿Dónde está el lapicero? <ríe> ok. <ríe> Good. Y cuando los salvadoreños nos vamos, nos decimos ya me voy, nosotros decimos lo opuesto, decimos ya vengo, <risa> ya vengo, y no se, no viene, no que se va, ¿verdad? Lo opuesto, ok, y hemos inventado varias palabras como dendioi, utual, ketioi, no ketioi, que lo estoy esperando en la clase, ketioi, <risa> Ok, let's Excuse continue. Me, Excuse me. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Good, now class, let's continue working. Look, here we have two emails. Now you're going to tell me if these emails are formal or informal, okay? Formal or informal. Think about it, please, think about it. Teacher, voy a levantarme un momento, pero ya voy a regresar. Ok, no problem, no problem. I understand. When, if you want to go to get water, to get something to eat, a coffee, no problem. You can do it, right? Ok, good. Now, uh, number one, class, it's formal or informal? Informal. Informal. Cling. Number two, formal or informal? Formal. It's formal. Informal. Formal. Formal. Mm, formal. Let me see. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Eh, le hemos saludado aquí. Good morning. No. No. no Informal. Se refiere. Information se refiere technology. A... Y miren hasta sí. con un error está aquí. Don. Don. <risa> Don. Formal o informal. 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 Teacher también se dirige a Robert como. Algo similar al tú, ¿verdad? Como que sí, sin, sin más, vea, de una vez. Robert. Um, yes. Robert. Debería um, de colocarse también, mis, eh, ¿cómo es? Señor, ¿cómo es? Eh, Mister, Mister. 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 Uh -huh. Mister Pan y Agua. 
pan y agua, pan y agua, yes, poca sangre, noches, días, flores, campos, torres, <laughs> everything, you know, in Spain, they use the last name puñal, puñal is the last name in, 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 in Spain, right, hay muchas personas que tienen el apellido puñal, o oh, amor, amor, right, Okay, imagine. Yo tengo un amigo que es de apellido Amador. Ah, yes, yeah. Yo conocí a una Innovera. compañera que era en que era enamorada, no enamorado, <laughs> enamorado. Enamorado, yes, enamorado, yes. Imagine, Alex Enoch enamorado de Paniagua. <laughs> okay, imagine it's it's complicated, right? Okay, class, let's continue, right? Me van a regañar porque estamos perdiendo el tiempo aquí. <ríe> ok. Good. Now we're going to discuss some... Eh, creo que este lo discutimos en el curso pasado, ¿verdad? Este, Eduardo, help me, please. Do you remember this? ¿Se acuerda de estos idioms, Eduardo? Yes, which I remember. ¿Verdad que lo practicamos el curso pasado? Es correcto. Oh, yes. Entonces vamos a hacer algo. Lo voy a hacer rápido. Eh, por los que no estuvieron con nosotros el curso pasado, que Esmeralda, Carolina, eh, Esaú, que no estuvo con nosotros en el curso pasado, no sé. Hasta hace poco lo he conocido a Esaú. No lo sé, Rick. <laughs> ok, very good. So let, let's do it together, right? I will make it for you. Look, number one, it's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. So when you say that it's raining cats and dogs, you're saying that it's raining very hard, right? It's raining very hard, right? What's cooking? What's cooking means... Uh, what's new? What's cooking? Hey, Jorge, what's cooking? Esmeralda, what's cooking? So, what's new? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? What's cooking, right? It's the same. Uh, okay. Eduardo, I like the song. Imagine, yes. Well, but To be honest, imagine it from the from John Lennon. Because uh, when the Beatles the Beatles disappear, uh, John Lennon and Paul McCartney they were singing uh, apart, separated, right? But yes, it's an excellent song, Eduardo. Yes, imagine. Okay, now let's continue, right? I'm tied up right now. Tied up. I'm tied up. The meaning is. I am busy. Tied up means me busy, right? I'm tied up. Now, I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Oh, you will receive a ring. Nice. But no, I'll give you a ring is I'll call you. Okay, and the English test was a piece of cake. It means that the English test was easy. Easy. Easy to do, right? And uh, the English test was no picnic. Uh, it's the opposite, right? It is difficult. Okay? Now, You can say, for example, the, this class is a piece of cake. It's easy, right? It's not difficult, right? But do you remember the use of the passive voice? ¿Se acuerdan el uso de la voz pasiva? So, the passive voice is no picnic. Okay? Good. Any question? So, chat. Fierce, so, fierce subject, uh, passive. 
No, object. The first object. Uh, no, I don't get it. I don't get it. Sorry, excuse me. First. No, what is the question? Sorry, I don't get it. I don't get it. Excuse me, excuse me. Creo que ando cortando varas. No, no entiendo. Sorry. Enoch, right? Enoch was asking? Yeah. Ah, es que mencionó este, el pasivo. Si nos acordábamos del pasivo. Ah, que el pasivo yeah. primero, iba primero el objeto. Ah, ok. I got it. Yes. I got it. Yes. No, I was telling uh, Enoch that when you say that the, the topic is difficult, you say uh, the passive voice was no picnic. It was no picnic. Okay, mathematics is no, no picnic, right? Calculo. Solidos. Oof. <laughs> it's, it's not a picnic, right? By the opposite, you know, English classes is a piece of cake. It's not difficult, right? Easy, right? Okay, let's go to the next ones. Break a leg. When you say break a leg, you are saying letter C. Look, good luck. Good luck, right? Eduardo, break a leg. Okay. Esaú, break a leg. And then you say, el teacher, ¿por qué está, me está diciendo que me quiebre una pierna? <laughs> no, break a leg means good luck. Right? Andrés is riding the motorcycle. Andrés, break a leg. And, eh, Andrés is going to say, el teacher quiere que me caiga la moto, ¿no? No, break a leg is good luck, right? Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue is uh, be, be quiet. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. Shh. Be quiet, right? Be quiet. Uh-huh. And uh, keep your chin up. Mantén la barbilla en alto, right? Keep your chin up. In this case, is don't be sad. Don't te chiques, right? Si el faz le dieron duro ahí en los carquiteños, don't, come on. Keep your chin up, right? Bueno, que hoy todos los equipos llegan a darle duro al, al faz. Ah, antes, antes era invencible ese faz ahí en quiteño. Hoy hasta el jocoro llega a ganarle ahí. Bueno. Okay, keep it's your chin a, up. It's a king of the cups in El Salvador. Long time ago, oh Eduardo, yeah, la vieja confiable. What is the cup recently? What is the recently cup? Well, Alianza remember... has won from eight. He has won four. The ocho finales ganado cuatro. La Alianza, así que yes. The, no, 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 no. The diez finales le ganó Santa Tecla cinco o seis. Do you remember? No, I forget. Sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, very good. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball is pay attention, right? Enoch, keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye in the class, right? Is pay attention. Pay attention, right? Uh huh, okay. And put your best foot forward. Something like, eh, pon tu mejor pie adelante, right? Put your best foot forward. What is that? Is try hard. Inténtelo. Inténtelo. Da lo mejor right? de ti. Da lo mejor de ti. Excellent. Put your best foot forward, right? Okay, let me see here, right? hard and finally get off my back get off my back is don't bother me bother 
is a synonym of bug me. For example, you say, no me molestes, right? No me molestes is don't bother me. Or don't bug me. Okay, don't bug me. Don't bug me. No me moleste. Deja de fregar, right? In the survival, we say, deja de fregar. Don't bug me, right? Uh, bug me goes from the, from the word bugs bunny, you know? Bugs bunny. That means el conejo molestón. El conejo que molesta, right? Bugs bunny. <laughs> okay? Teacher, teacher. Yes. Um... Que hay de nuevo viejo, ¿cómo se coloca en inglés? Ah, ¿Cómo se escribe? WhatsApp, Doug. WhatsApp, Doug. WhatsApp, Doug. Doug es informa, well, eh, eh, no, usted se ha fijado que el, algunas personas que piden moneda a todo el mundo le dicen licenciado, ¿verdad? Lick. Mire, Lick. Entonces, eh, en inglés, para decir, abreviar doctor, dicen doc. Pero hablarle a alguien, a decirle a alguien que usted, you're a doc, es, es, es como, como eso, ¿verdad? Como decirle a alguien licenciado, aunque usted no sea licenciado, pero WhatsApp. Y WhatsApp es una forma de decir qué ondas WhatsApp right? WhatsApp WhatsApp right eh, de esta expresión alguien vino y e hizo una app pero en lugar de poner WhatsApp puso what app app quiere decir aplicación application right entonces algo así como WhatsApp que es el que usamos nosotros todos los días, el famoso WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Viene de esa expresión, WhatsApp, que quiere decir hola, ¿qué ondas? ¿Qué pasó vos? Right? WhatsApp. Hey, what's up, boy? What's up? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? <risa> ¿Qué hay de nuevo, right? ¿Qué hay de nuevo, ¿Qué hay de nuevo viejo? Ok. Y también está esta, miren, ¿no? creo que se la expliqué, pero creo que usted no la explica. Beef steak. In Spanish, we say bistec. But the correct one is beef, mucha carne. And steak es un corte de carne, steak. Hay chicken steak, hay um, eh, fish steak también, Filete de pescado, right? Beef steak, o lonja, como decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Y también, en lugar de decir eh, beef steak, decimos en español bistec. Ok, good, let's continue. Any other question? Aprovechen ahora que estamos hablando de cultura general, ¿verdad? Good. Here we have the last ones. My new co-worker is a real peach. If you say, for example, eh, Eduardo is a real peach. Eh, Esmeralda is a real peach. What is the meaning? She's the top banana of her company, right? You say, Cristina is the top banana of... Eh, eh, Atlántida, Banco Atlántida, right? Mm -hmm. eh, I can say, for example, mm, Enoch is the top banana of Grupo GBO, right? Mm -hmm. Jill is the top banana in Indy Motos. <laughs> okay? What is the meaning of top banana? Next one, he's a real ham at office parties. Él es un un verdadero jamón. <laughs> verdadero jamón. So, he's a couch potato. Couch is sofa, right? Sofa. And potato is, you know, papa, right? And she's a smart cookie. 
Oh, he want to ask for a raise, but he's a chicken. You're a chicken. He's a chicken, right? Pio, pio, pio. So, similar to in Spanish, es una gallina. Es una gallina. Okay, let's do it together. Again. Good. My new co-worker is a real peach. A real peach means that he's nice. He's nice. You're real. You're real peach. You are very nice. She is the top banana in the company, right? Means she's the boss. El hombre, el jefe, je, je, jefecito, right? That's the top banana. You're the top banana. You're the the. Okay, real ham at office parties. Real ham is. Funny. Okay, so the real ham is that you are do you are funny, right? Now he's a coach potato. When people say that you are coach potato, que se espera de una de una papa tirada en un en un sofá? <laughs> Nothing, right? So, coach potato is that you are lazy. You are coach potato. You're lazy. You're lazy, right? Okay. And then, she's a smart cookie. When you say that you are the smart cookie, you say that you are intelligent. And finally, he wants to ask for a raise. Quiere pedir un, un aumento, pero tiene miedo, ¿verdad? He's afraid. What is that? Chicken. Ah, co, 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 okay. Very good. Eso es como cuando en, en, en la escuela eh, a alguien le gustaba una chica y le daba miedo decirle, ¿verdad? Entonces, you say, he's a chicken. You're a chicken. <laughs> so, uh -huh, Esmeralda, any question? Teacher, y la traducción de la number two, she's top banana, ¿Qué, ¿qué significa? Esa es la banana número uno, ¿verdad? Si usted es la banana número uno es porque si usted la puede en su compañía, ¿no? The top banana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ¿Cómo podríamos decir en español? Él es la... Perdón, no sé si va a sonar mal esta expresión, pero la mera mengambrella, dicen. La, la mata donde rasca el tigre, dicen. Entonces, ah, son, okay. son, son cosas culturales, no sé, para ellos la banana es como, no sé, alguien importante, ¿no? Lo mejor de lo mejor. <risa> Algo así. Como la última Coca-Cola. Yes, no, exactly. No, 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 te Pero cree ya. la última ah, Coca-Cola. Bueno. Ajá. The top banana is the same. Oh, okay. yes. yes. Ok. Any other question? Question? Ok. So let's finish the presentation, right? Okay. Trivia. -da, ladies and gentlemen. Trivia, right? Good. Number one. Chocolate was once used as medicine. True or false? False. False. Let me see. The answer is true. true. Yes. Some people use the chocolate as medicine in the past, especially the Mayan, the Aztecs, right? Entre más puro es mejor el chocolate. Ah, yes. Chichen Itza was built by the Mayan civilization. True or false? True. True. 
Yes. Bling. Correct. Next one. Oh, sorry. For how many years was Nelson Mandela in prison? Seven years, 17 years, or 27 years? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. Twenty-seven years. Imagine. <laughs> Complicated, right? Poor Nelson Mandela. According to the legend, what was the name of King Arthur's wizard, el brujo del rey Arturo? King's King Arthur's wizard. Merlin, I think. Merlin? Ta -da! Yes, congratulations, right? Okay, now that's the way we finished the class. But uh, we are going to uh, share some material. I'm going to share some material with you. Okay, here here we are. Okay, class. So to finish today, we're going to um we're going to practice right with with a reading. Okay. Cell phone etiquette, right? That is the topic. Cell phone etiquette. So well, let's discuss this article, right? Now. Remember, there are some rules uh, to write to write uh, emails, right? And also, we have some rules for the use of the cell phone. Today, a lot of people don't use the cell phone in an appropriate way. So I'll read, I will read for you, right? Then you give commentaries. What do these things have in common? A stranger's personal problems, details about a business meeting, and the food, someone's, the food in someone's refrigerator, someone's medical issues, and a private argument. Argument es un, una, un pleito personal, ¿verdad? Está peleando con la esposa, con un primo, etcétera, etcétera. These are th all things here when, about when the people around you don't practice good cell phone etiquette. Estos son temas que, que usted normalmente escucha cuando alguien que va usando su teléfono no practica el uso correcto del celular. ¿Ves? ¿Sí? Todo lo que va hablando el fulano, usted lo va escuchando. Lo que, lo que desayunó, lo que piensa del vecino, eh, por qué se peleó con alguien en la oficina, cuántos panes se comen en el desayuno, etcétera, etcétera. You, you get a lot of information when people are using the telephone in a bad way. Look, most people find cell phones a necessity. A necessity, right? In their day-to-day -day life. Okay, so it means that you use the cell phones for a necessity. Hemos aprendido a usar el teléfono por necesidad, right? Día a día, todos los días, right? I heard on the radio this, right? Yo escuché en la radio que un el locutor dijo que el teléfono se ha convertido en una extensión de su cuerpo. <ríe> Imagine. Para todos lo usamos, ¿verdad? Para ver la hora, la fecha, una cita, el clima, eh, entretenernos, ver una película, una canción, llamar, y de último, llamarle a alguien. <ríe> ¿Ok? Good. But we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly, right? Pero de repente 
siempre nos encontramos a, con alguien que está hablando bien fuerte con el celular, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, mira vos, y, 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 y ahí te voy a llevar los panes, ¿oíste? Ahí los panes migueleños. Soy you loudly, right? Listening to loud music or playing loud beeping game, right? On a on, on a cell, right? O tal vez alguien escuchando música súper fuerte, ¿verdad? No sé, ahí imagínense a, a Enoch escuchando Bad Bunny ahí, todo volumen, yes. Escuchando a Peso Pluma ahí. Ah. O playing. You know? So, when you're playing with the video game, right? inappropriate, of course, right? Ok, and... Pero si, si, el cel, si el celular es bueno, es bueno original jugar el celular. Ok. Acá es el disco duro del celular. Ok, good. Now, but a recent report shows that while most people are annoyed by cell phone rudeness, most admit to doing it too. Uh, un reciente estudio da cuenta que la gente que se molesta por por el uso rudo del teléfono, admiten al final que ellos también lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Que ellos se cruzaron la calle hablando por teléfono, carro casi atropellándolo. Que en lugar de estar en clases, están jugando con el celular, etcétera, etcétera. Right? Bad usage. Now, what can you do to practice better etiquette? Here we have a few rules, right? Y aquí es donde ustedes me van a ayudar. Ok, read please. Vamos a leer. These are some uh, tips you have to, for the use of the cell phone, right? Ok. Y me acerco. Quiero agrandarlo, pero no, no puedo. Ahí creo. Ok. Permítame, se lo puedo dejar exactamente. Ok, good. Now read, please. Leamos lentamente, please. And then we're going to read. Y me hace que I'm going to get water. Mientras tanto, voy a traer un poquito de agüita. Y me hace con. Okay, volunteers, please, to read. Volunteers. And commentaries, right? Volunteers. Come on, guys. Okay, so I will take my own volunteers. I, Enoch. Okay, thank I you, Enoch. Chief. The first one, please. <clears throat> read. Off means off.
Me, me escuchó, teacher, yes, me yes, escuchan. Yes, yes, no sé yes. si tengo problemas. No, no, no. Perfect. Sí, te, sí me yes. escucho. Yes, yes. Continue, continue. Ok, ok. Of, of means of. Respect the rise of restaurant and other public places. If a sink sign 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 mm -hmm. if a sign says no cell phones don't use your phone for any anything good your commentary is about this it happens to you uh, Enoch to other people have you seen other people using cell phone even they say Telephone off. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. In the yes. class. In class. Okay. In in the work. In the work. Uh, uh, cuando está muy... Cuando hay repunte de mucho volumen de pedidos. Mm, okay. So, but in your in your company is permitted the use of the cell phone, Enoch? Eh, Yes, yes, uh, oh, permi uh, lo permiten, pero este a veces sí es mejor dejarlo a un lado cuando es muy, o sea, como hay ciertos momentos en donde hay mucho volumen de, de ingreso, sí es mejor dejarlo a un lado para uh -huh. no, no tentarse. <laughs> I understand, but have you ever visited a restaurant or a place where they say no cell phones and people still using this? Oh, for example, uh, in a restaurant? No. No, no. Okay. Along, along is bank. Only in banks, right? In banks. All in bank. All in bank. Yeah, but sometimes I have seen in the bank the, the security guard say, excuse me, turn off your cell phone, please. And then it's, you're like this, right? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you, Enoch. Para, di para disimular. Yeah. Okay. Number, the next one, right? Keep private conversations. Private. Who wants to read? Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Okay, your teacher. Thank you, Jill. Read, please. Speak softly and for a short time. Observe the three meter, meter in feet. Stay away from other people. Good. Jill, do you, when you speak on your phone, when you use your phone, you are next to the person or you take your distance? Uh, distance. You take the distance, right? Do you normally use your, your cell phone in, 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 in your car or in, in the microbus? In your car. Ah, okay. So no problem, right? So nobody can listen your your private conversations, Jill. Only you in the car, right? That's that's okay. But when you are in a restaurant, when you are in a party, when you are in your company, people can can listen what you are speaking. Can they listen your your private conversation, Jill? No. No, they don't. Okay, that's good. That's okay. But listen, Jill, some other people don't care. They are next to you and they are talking. Sí, mira vos. Va a traer el pedido. Los pantalones estaban chivos. Okay. Sí. Mira vos y la vecina, que lo que, etcétera, etcétera. Next to you and you listen all the private conversation, right? Yes. And sometimes it's, okay, eh, uh, Let's say, for example, eh, Juan Juan Pérez, no sé, no sé quién serás, pero tu novia va hablando con otro ahí en el micro. <laughs> okay. And then you, you know, it's, uh, you, you, you listen all the private conversation, right? Good. Next one, please. Lights off, mm -hmm. phone off. Uh -huh. Volunteers? Carolina. Carolina, please. Lights off, 
phone off. Never take call or send text message in a theater, at the movies, or at the performance. Turn your phone on your ringer off. Okay, thank you. Have you ever been, Carolina, in, in the cinema, in the in in uh in in this in the cine right in the movie theater right and somebody next to you is using the cell phone it happened to you ya le ha pasado carolina no teacher no 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 lucky you right so tiene mucha suerte porque a mí sí también eh, también in teacher the, in the <laughs> live right pasado. Sí, en medio de, de Chong empezó a sonar <ríe> y por un mensaje de notificación. Yes, it's, it's not good. So you you are in the in the in the movie theater, right? And then the light. And then oh, excuse me, I'm watching the movie. Okay. <ríe> yes. Yeah. Okay, it's very common. Thank you, Carolina. Now Next one, right? Pay attention. Uh huh. Beatrice, read, please. Okay, pay attention. Talking or texting while driving is dangerous. Listening to music with headphones while driving is dangerous. Crossing the street while playing a game or checking your email is dangerous. You get the picture. Do you understand, right? You understand, right? Uh, have you ever seen someone, Beatriz, doing this? Yes. Texting all while the... they are driving every day. Every right? single day. <laughs> every single day. Andres is in the motorcycle and sending text messages. <laughs> no. Okay. Every day, right? And Nog is crossing the street, playing the game on, on the cell phone. <laughs> no. Okay. Every day, right? Mario is listening to music when he's driving. <laughs> okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I know you you follow the rule, right? If not, believe me, it's dangerous. Not only for you, but for the people around you. You can kill someone. Yeah. Believe it or not, you can kill someone. Okay, class. Now we're going to finish the class with an, an exercise of listening. I don't know if you have any extra question about this. Extra question? No, okay. Let's go to one exercise and we finish the class. Sorry. Okay. Mm, here. Okay. Give me a second. Teacher. Yes. Tiene muchos zoom, no se puede visualizar. Ahorita, ahorita lo reduzco. Give me a second. Es que fíjese que no hay una función de mi computadora que no me está, no me deja. Pero creo que aquí lo podemos hacer, sí. Vamos a ver. Regalen un segundito. Ok, good. This is it. Ok, muy bien. Entonces vamos a reducir el zoom. Ahí creo. Ahí estamos. Yes, good. Now listen to the two conversation, right? And write down the messages. You're going to write the message for, for, para quien el mensaje, right? Caller, quien llama, and what is the message? Here we go. Listen, please. Units 15 to 16, progress check. Page 113, exercise 3, listening. Telephone messages. Listen to the telephone conversations. Write down the messages. 1. Hello? Hi. Could I speak to Paul, please? I'm sorry. Paul isn't home right now. May I take a message? Oh, um, 
sure. This is Lisa. Would you tell him to meet me at the theater at 7 o'clock? The play starts at 7.30. Meet Lisa at the theater at 7 o'clock. The play is at 7.30. Got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Two. Hello? Hi, Brian? No, sorry. Brian isn't here right now. Can I take a message? Yes, thanks. Do you have a pencil? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is Anne. Could you tell him that I'm still at the barbecue? Please ask him to pick me up here, not at home. You're still at the barbecue. He should pick you up there, not at home. That's it. Thanks. No problem. Okay. Now again, and with detail, right? Units 15 to 16. Hello? Hi. Could I speak to Paul, please? Okay. Who is the message for? Who is the message for? Uh, Paul. 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 Very good. Paul. Excellent. I'm sorry, Paul isn't home right now. May I take a message? Oh, um, sure. This is Lisa. Would you... Who is the caller? Lisa. Lisa, okay. Lisa. Now, what is the message? You tell him to meet me at the theater at 7 o'clock. The play starts at 7.30. Meet Lisa at the theater at 7 o'clock. The play is at 7.30. Would you tell him to meet me at the theater at 7 o'clock? The play starts at 7.30. Meet Lisa at the theater at 7 o'clock. The play is at 7.30. Okay, what is the message? Meet Lisa at the theater at 7 o'clock. And what time is the play? 7.30. 7.30. 30. Very good. So you have to meet Lisa at 7 because the play is at 7.30, right? Now, message number two. Got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Two. Hello? Hi, Brian? No, sorry. Brian isn't here right now. Can I take a message? Okay. Who is the message for? Brian. Brian. Sorry? El Brian? <laughs> ok. La okay. que está llamando es la, 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 Brittany. la, es la Stephanie, la Brittany. La, la Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> ok, now listen. Yes, thanks. Do you have a pencil? Yeah, go ahead. Ok, this is Anne. Uh -huh. Who is the caller? Anne. Anne. Now, what is the message? Could you tell him that I'm still at the barbecue? Please ask him to pick me up here. Not at home. You're still at the barbecue. He should pick you up there. Not at home. That's it. Thanks. No problem. Okay, so what is the message? So she is still in the barbecue. Not She's at home. In, uh, okay, yes. Barbecue is a restaurant. A restaurant where you can have a, a grilled meat, you know, and grilled things, you know. A, something similar to Mama Choose, right? Similar to Mama Choose. So barbecue. Uh huh. And 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 what else? Again, I will play it again. Don't worry. Him to pick me up here, not at home. Pick me up. Traerme. Pick me up. Traerme, right? O venir a recogerme aquí. You know, pick me up. Do you tell him that I'm still at the barbecue? Please ask him to pick me up here, not at home. Okay. What is the message? You're still at the barbecue. He should pick you up there, not at home. Okay. She's still in? Barbecue. In the barbecue, right? She's still in the barbecue, and? That's it. Thanks. No problem. Okay. You're still at the barbecue. He should pick you up there, not at home. Mm -hmm. He should Brian pick her at the barbecue, not at home. 
not at home. Very good. That's it, right? Class, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to still con uh, having the one-to-one -one class. Let me see. Who's the victim? No, sorry. <laughs> who's the victim? No. Who's the student who's going to stay with me tonight? Mm, I have Alejandro, Mario, Andres, Oscar, Vilma, right? Who wants to? ¿Quién de ellos quiere quedarse conmigo? Vamos a ver. Okay, so I will choose Alejandro. No, Alejandro no está ahora en clase, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Mario, can you stay with me, Mario? Mr. González. No sé, Rick. <laughs> yes, Mario. Ok, entonces vamos a preguntar al grupo en general. Who wants to? ¿Quién se quiere quedar conmigo entonces? Please. Sure, teacher. Ok, thank you, Enoch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ok, class, I will take the attendance and then you say goodbye, right? I was, hoy vamos a comenzar al revés. Vilma. Present. Present. Okay, have a good night, Vilma. God bless you. <coughs> Emeralda. Present teacher. Good, good night. Tomorrow. Good night. God bless you. Patricia. Oscar. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you, Oscar. Andres. Good night, teacher. God bless you. Mario. Good night, teacher. Good night, Alejandro. Karina. Eduardo. Good night, teacher. Good night, Eduardo. God bless you, Jorge. Dear, good night, teacher. Good night, Jennifer. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, Beatriz. Good night, teacher. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Giovanni. Jill. Present teacher. Okay. Good. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Good okay, night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Alejandro, yes. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Alejandro. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Elizabeth. Esaú. Bye. Bye. See you, Carolina. Present okay. teacher. See you tomorrow, Cristina. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. And a, a knock. Present, right? Okay. Thank you. Don't go. Don't go. A knock. <laughs> okay. So, Mario, Elizabeth, and Jennifer, ya les tomé la asistencia. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, Enoch, any topic that you want to talk about? The simple present, the simple past, passive voice. Yes, teacher. What uh, topic? Sí, uh, la primera sección, tal vez nada más como un resumen, porque si no me la perdí un poco, casi toda la información de como de lo que según entendí lo que no se debería de enviar en email y ah, okay. lo que sí se I podría understand. pero como en inglés como que no se debe de enviar es, es okay. una como la formalidad ¿verdad? I understand don't worry I will share with you <coughs> presentation here right ok give me a second Here, right? Good. Uh, these are the tips, right? Okay. Sure. It's a... Teacher. Uh -huh. Meaning tip, tick. 
Tip. Tip. Tip is suggestion. Ah, Tip. Okay. Uh, suggestion. For example, uh, uh, a no, listen, a drink water every day, eat fruits, and do not do not eat hamburgers. So those are tips if you want to be healthy. Tips, right? Or financial tips. Save money. It's necessary you have a budget. Uh, don't buy things you don't need, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Those are tips, right? And these are tips for formal emails. Let's start one by one, right? Number one, do not use capital letter, right? In Spanish, right? Capital letter. Capital letter is mayúsculas. Ah, capital letter. Capital letter. Capital letter. I will give Capital you this letter. example. This example. Look. Hello, Enoch. Es, es, today, es que también... today en, we, en... we have a meeting. See mm. you at three. Okay, notice only capital letter. This is not good. Or the opposite. Only lowercase letter. Look. Hello, Enoch. See you in the meeting. Goodbye. Huh? And incorrect, right? So <coughs> do not use all capital. Understand, Enoch? Yes, understand. Okay. Eh, teacher, en, en otras palabras, también lo consideran como falta de respeto las letras mayúsculas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí. Okay. Emails. Okay. O sea que ya todo lo mayúsculas. Yes. Emails, no. Capital okay. letter and then lowercase. Okay. Comienza con mayúscula letter. y luego. O, se, o el, el uso apropiado, como nombres de países, nombres de personas. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Next one. Avoid. Avoid. Avoid means evitar. Oh. Evitar. Avoid. Evitar Avoid. poner en el tema important, right? Uh -huh. Hay okay. mucha gente que a todos los emails les pone importante, importante. Claro, claro. Urgente, o a veces urgente, urgente. Y todos los días <risa> mandan el mismo email, todos los días mandan el mismo email. <risa> <risa> So that is uh, not correct. In, in, innecessary. <laughs> not necessary, yes. Because. Necessary. Como, el, como el, el pastorcito mentiroso, cuando de verdad sea urgente, la gente le va a valer. No le va a importar, ¿ok? <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Ok. Yes. Yes. Use a formal salutation. Salutation is hello. Yeah. Yes, when you say hello, it's a salutation. And it, it must be formal. It's not, what's up, boy? Hey, dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, doc? No. Mm -hmm. No, okay. it's a uh, good morning. Dear Mr. Ramirez Salazar. Okay? okay. Good. Formal. Be brief. Brief means short. Sea, use, como se llama? Sea breve. Be brief. Sea breve. Brief, sea breve. Brief. Okay. brief is breve. Brief. Brief. Uh, brief. brief, yes. brief. Express brief. clearly why are you writing. No se vaya brief. por las ramas. ¿Para qué está escribiendo? Uh, ¿Qué, ¿Qué quiere comunicar? Express clearly. clearly. Express clearly. Claramente. claramente. What, is, what is clearly meaning? Eh, what does clearly mean? Mean... Claramente. 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 Ah, ok. O sea, ¿para qué está escribiendo? Solo para saludar, para decir cómo está el... No. Diga qué es lo que quiere, ¿verdad? No se ande por la rama. Do, do not use abbreviation, right? Do not use abbreviation. No abbreviation. No abbreviation. No emojis. No emojis. No emojis. Okay. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, these okay, are the teacher. things, the recommendations for a uh, good email. Good. Mm -hmm. Enoch, okay. um, 
Are you practicing your English with movies, music, videos? Unless I'm more teacher. Okay. Eh, últimamente eh, no he podido porque como me tuve que mudar de donde estaba, oh. eh, acá no tengo como este, la facilidad que tenía anteriormente como de tener eh, ciertas cosas, digamos, como eh, la tele o, o algo, ¿verdad? Como, como tener más tiempo para descargar algo porque uh -huh. sí necesito descargar las películas con subtítulos. No, no tengo una suscripción en alguna plataforma. Entonces, si sí tengo no, que descargar las películas. No HB, HBO Max, no. No. Ah, no, oh, no. sorry. Ajá. Netflix. Ajá, entonces, no. Netflix no. Lo que sí he estado es de music. Music, listen, music. Um, ahí vamos. Este, algunas que me han gustado, pues las he estado escuchando, he estado leyendo y escuchando. Aunque creo que no es, no es lo mismo, porque hay unas que... Hay una cosa, hey, hello, dog. Este es polar. <ríe> Ajá, eh, but you like classic, Entonces, classic, eh, classic music? Um, sí, yes, yes. Les, um, ah, sí, algunas, el, bastante, de, para así decirle, eh, eh, bastante, bastante viejas, no mucho, pero hay unas que sí, son buenas, nunca pasan de moda, eh, yes. pero hay... Por ejemplo, hay una que es de... Se me olvida. Eh, una que dice Sin que... Tararela, que... Ah, tararela, no, tararela, dice... tararela. Ah, una que dice... Será I love you. Ah, será I love you. Ah, será I love you. Ah, será I love you. Ajá, esa. Exacto, okay. exacto. More than Esa. words, is it? more, more than, than words, more, more than, than words, more than words, exacto. Extreme pornography is the, the group, right? Ajá, yes, yes, también. <laughs> Unas yeah. que son buenas también son de Coldplay, de mm. Ed Sheeran. Clocks. Clocks. Ah, Clocks, Clocks, okay, de right. Ed Sheeran. Eh, bueno, de la, esas son más actuales, pero las Ed anteriores Sheeran. también. Sí, El, El? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, Ed mm. Sheeran. Ah, Ed Sheeran. Eh, de Michael Jackson también hay varias buenas. Tiene, este, hay unas letras que son bastante buenas, digamos, en cuanto a, 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 lo, a las variadas cosas que dice. Yes, ok. So, that's it. You are in the correct way. And no, that's it, mm -hmm. right? Ok. okay. So, thank you very much. And, no, and anytime you want to stay... No problem for me. Ya ve que algunos no quieren quedarse, ¿verdad? Así que cualquier cosa, sí, usted este... quiere una asesoría o lo que usted quiera, pues ahí estamos en la orden. Yes? Bueno, okay. gracias, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Ok, bye bye.